We had the same goalie coach in Sweden and everything, and uh, I think we look pretty similar off the ice too. We're both uh, tall, tall and kind of skinny guys, so. A pair of Swedes go head to head for the fifth time in their career in North America. Eddie Lack for the Wolves, Jacob Markstrom for San Antonio. Markstrom has won all five previous meetings by just a single goal. Eddie Lack and Jacob Markstrom have a lot in common. They're both Swedish, they're both tall and skinny, they're both talented American Hockey League goaltenders. It's always excited to come here and uh, especially from last year when we had him in the playoffs so it's always excited to come here and play and uh, you know it, 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 they're usually really good games. We we played together in the, in the Swedish Elite League our, our, our last year before we both went over here and uh, I was his, his backup that year. I came from the second league and uh, I really feel like I, I learned a lot from him that year and uh, we played against each other a ton too growing up so um, we know each other pretty good. Lack had never won a professional matchup against his longtime friend. That changed in October. Two seconds to go and Wellman will run out of time. The Wolves improved to 4-0 on home ice. The victory is especially sweet since Markstrom was at the helm of a San Antonio team that knocked the Wolves out of the playoffs last year. Tough way for Eddie Lack's season to end. It ended in triple overtime last year as the Hamilton Bulldogs knocked off the Manitoba Moose. Eddie Lack had 55 saves that night. Tonight he stopped 34 of 37. I really felt that uh, I, uh, I wanted that win, and uh, like I would have been happy for him if he if he would have gone the whole way and won the caller. But like when he beat me, like I, I can't really say I was happy for him. It turns out that feeling is mutual. It was f f five against five on the ice, and me and Eddie in that. So you know, they were uh, they were we didn't score any goals, so you can't really really put a lot of stuff on us. The only thing we try to do is, is stop the puck and of course it's a, always all playoff series is a is a goalie heads up and you know it's always good to, to beat Eddie and uh, you know but the most important that uh, we we went to the second round. Uh, they've got a whole thing going here and they know they've competed for jobs uh, in the national level in Sweden and stuff so uh, I think it's a uh, it's a mark for for Eddie uh, you know, it's something to measure, it's a measuring stick, uh, Markstrom, and I know he's been his nemesis, and, uh, you know, we saw it in the playoffs last year where, you know, it was, a, it was uh, us playing San Antonio, but it was also Eddie Lack playing uh, against Markstrom, so and that's, uh, uh, it's good to have competition like that, whether it's uh, amongst your own goalies or competition amongst uh, goalies in the league or whatever, so I think it's a, it's a good thing for Eddie because it's a measuring stick for him. I guess that once you're out there, you, you don't really think about the goalie on the other side. Like, uh, it's not like he's shooting on me or I'm shooting on him. Uh, so I'm more trying to focus on the players that he got on, on his team. But of course, it's a game that I want to win. Like, uh, uh, there's some phone calls between the two of us and some text message. So uh, it makes life a little bit easier when you win, of course. And win. He did. Wolves TV interviewed Markstrom after San Antonio's loss at the Allstate Arena earlier this season. Not too far into that interview, it becomes clear that for Jacob Markstrom, every win counts and every loss matters. Oh, I'm not in a good mood right now, but you know, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy and you know, we get along well. For these two Swedes, expect their friendly rivalry to continue, perhaps on hockey's biggest stage. They're very similar, they're big bodies in, in the net, they move well, so I think they're both on the same path to, uh, to the NHL and probably both uh, on the same path to being number one goalies in the NHL.
maybe one day for the Stanley Cup, absolutely. And that's uh, that's a, a unique thing for uh, for the goalies to kind of compete within your in your country, and then uh, you know in, in minor league hockey, and then uh, possibly in the NHL. There's not written in stone that any of us gonna play in the NHL one day, but uh, I really, really hope that we're both gonna be there one day and 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 to play against each other.